What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. Zigzag. Oh my god. Sides are gonna be sewn to the... You know what I mean. Maybe you don't. Anyhow. You know, we'll see. If this turns out to be awesome, slanted on the side, keep an eye out if you go thrifting. Eh. So we can style it. Original onto the new. Eight might be cute. I need a bigger table. I have a front piece and a back piece. I don't know if that's the right word. Now, if this goes well, is my all-time favorite shirt in my life. Now, hear me out. Quite some time. Flip the top over. Probably not, but in today's video, I am attempting to make my favorite shirt. Now, my favorite shirt is this gray, is it asymmetrical? And it's kind of on the slanted on the side. I don't know if that's the right word, but it is this bat sleeve isk, very relaxed. I love wearing this shirt. This is my all time favorite shirt. I always feel so good in it. I love the fabric, the feel. I got this from Forever 21 eight years ago, maybe. Anyhow, I've had it for quite some time and I always gravitate towards it. I have never seen anything like it afterwards in any store. And today we are making a green one of these, or at least I'm going to attempt to make a green one. Now hear me out. The idea is to trace this pattern onto the new pattern and use my sewing machine Yay! to create an identical top. Now, if this goes well, I will recommend this. <laughs> if it doesn't, it'll be a created moment in my life. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen that I've made a kimono pretty successfully. I've used my sewing machine for a few videos. We did uh, ugly Christmas sweaters that turned out really nice. Now, I can link both of those videos below. If you're interested, check them out. For this project, I have the top that we are going to trace onto our new fabric. I have some brown yarn string, some pins, measuring tape, some scissors. I'm gonna need a bigger set of scissors to cut the actual fabric, and a chalk to trace our original onto the new. Okay, so we're gonna start out by laying the fabric on the table and then tracing both sides of the shirt and then cutting them. Let's get started. I wonder if it would be better to trace this on a piece of paper and then, but that would be kind of waste of paper, right? Mm -hmm. I need a bigger table. All right, now, because I want it to be a relaxed fit, which it will be, and I will be folding some of the, or all of the sides. I don't wanna draw exact, I wanna draw just the, slightly over the pattern, the shirt. Now, if you, were to make several tops, I would recommend doing the pattern on like paper or cardboard or something first. I'm just drawing this out. We'll see, if this turns out to be awesome, I'll make this top in all the colors. Okay, before I cut this piece, I'm going to flip the top over and do the back side or the front side. I bet you people are watching cringing like, why are you doing it like that? But you know, I'm creative in my own way. I like things done kind of, eh. <laughs> it's kind of like my cooking. I'll look at the recipe and then make it my own. Why I like the top, because it's such a relaxed kind of look and it's not exact. 
All right, now that I have drawn, outdrawn the shirt, we're going to cut it with some sharp scissors because it's stretchy and the sharper your scissors, the easier it's going to be. Let's attack this. I have a front piece and a back piece. Now I'm going to zigzag all around each piece each side so it doesn't unravel. Okay, now all of the sides have been zigzagged and hopefully it won't unravel. Next up, I'm going to fold all of the corners and sides that are not going to be attached to each other. So the arms, the neckline, and then down below where the slit is. All of them I'm going to fold and then pin and sew. And then we can attach the two pieces. This is the, the outside and then Okay, I want to do a double fold so one and then two tuck it under so it has like a clean clean line i have now folded and pinned all of the sides that i want to have showing because the remaining sides are going to be sewn to the you know what i mean maybe you don't anyhow i almost ran out of pins but i had enough thankfully Pins and thread are things that I thrift from the thrift store. Keep an eye out if you go thrifting. They're handy to have. All right, now I'm going to sew all the pinned sides down and then we're gonna attach them together and our shirt is going to be done, hopefully. I'm already thinking about how I wanna style it. Let's get sewing. Yeah, that looks pretty clean and crisp. Considering that my sewing machine sometimes plays tricks on me, I say that this looks pretty darn good. Both of the sides are ready on their own. Now we are going to pin them and sew them together. Get the shoulders. and the sides. And you want to sew it inside out. So the clean side is inward and then you can turn it inside out to wear it. Although some seams these days are sewn outwards, you know, like that's like a fashion trend. This is just gonna be good old seams inside. Oh my goodness, I'm already super excited. Let's sew these together so we can style it. Here it is. Now, before I style it, I have something in mind. I made a bunch of beanies, crochet beanies, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Any hoozy. I had these tags made and it says life in general, which is my blog link below. If you haven't subscribed to that, come say hi on the blog. Now, these are these leather tags that I'm thinking might be cute to sew on the end, just to add a little uniqueness to the top, so I'm gonna sew this by hand. All right, she's done. Oh, 
I'm already super excited and so happy. I might have to make a whole bunch of these, but let's try it on. Oh my God, I have no words. I want to rush to the fabric or thrift stores, buy a bunch of fabric and make 15 more of these. Oh my God, this was so easy, so nice to make. And I got my favorite shirt in any color I want for the rest of my life. Maybe I should have made a cardboard cutout. I think I'm going to make a pattern so I can make a bunch of these. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I think I did amazing. Oh, I hope this inspires you to bust out the sewing machine and try some simple, easy, no pattern, pattern shorts, skirts, dresses, or trousers. I don't know. Am I becoming a seamstress? Probably not, but this, no sweat. Hit that like button and show me some of your love. And remember to subscribe to the channel so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who I'm asking, I'm just, I was so much better in woodwork. I do have faith though. I have a butt, butt.